Jim from Advanced Performance Shooting again, and I wanted to I wanted to take a hard look at the wizard drill and and use it as an example for one of the problems that I see inside of the firearms training industry, whether it's the writing side, whether it's the instructing side, but one of the problems that I see. Excellent drill from Ken Hackathorn. I don't know how long that drill's been around. Five shot exercise meant to be shot from concealment, meant to be shot with your carry gun and carry ammunition. Line shots count, but anything outside of the head box or outside of the eight inch circle is down one, just like it's scored on the IDPA target. And you can be down two total points and still pass the A exercise. huge problem that, that I see, is, and I saw it again, the, not the first time, but I saw it again, middle of October in an article that called that exercise the gold standard for concealed carry. It implied that that's what you should shoot for. And it was a baseline assessment drill from Ken Hackathorn. It was a minimum standard exercise, that 2.5 seconds. I don't think it was ever intended to be the gold standard. The problem when we establish that gold standard kind of concept is people achieve that and they think they don't need to work anymore. They think that that is a mark of excellence. I think if you fall into the group of people that believe 1.5 seconds is the acceptable presentation from concealment, that's a minimum. I think it's 1.65 seconds. Biomechanical movement, response, reaction times, 1.65 seconds. Neither of them account for a distance to the target or an accuracy level of requirement. I think when we put it in the defensive context, an 8-inch circle in the chest, a 4-inch circle in the head, and those particular times, now we're in the correct realm. If we refer to something less than that as a gold standard, we're holding our students back. I think if an instructor uses a drill like the wizard drill, an excellent drill, but if he uses it as a baseline assessment tool, then it's being used properly. If we use 2.5 seconds as the baseline for how or when we can move forward, then we're using that exercise correctly. If we treat it like it's the golden standard, we're not gonna get there. I think you'd be better suited to use an exercise like the wizard drill in your own training to establish what your acceptable part-time is. I think when you use a drill like the wizard drill, the established level of accuracy, that's, that's a no fail. You must maintain that level of accuracy. If you can't, go fix it. Take a class, practice, figure out what you're not doing correctly, but, but you have to be able to maintain the established level of accuracy. If you can't meet the, the minimum established part-time, then you know what you need to work on. And again, take a class, go practice, figure out what's not being done correctly. And when you can meet that standard, don't accept it as the gold standard. Push yourself, figure out what your standard is, what your acceptable part-time should be, and always 
work to improve upon that. Don't ever give up that acceptable level of accuracy.